Okay, here like this. You're going to be leaning against. Now, anytime you square off to the camera, you look bigger than you really are. Anybody, okay? The more you turn to the side, the smaller you look. So, you're going to lean back into here. Left foot extends out. This hand comes here, here, and then looking right at me. Okay. Here. here. Good. Just like that. Perfect. Good. All right. Now, a couple of things that we need to kind of discuss before we go into a lot of posing. And that is that a lot of times photographers want to know the how. They want to know how to pose. And I could have easily come up with a book or a video of like 300 poses. And you memorize those. But until you understand the why of why I put someone in the pose that I do, you really have never mastered posing. Because just coming up with a pose isn't really the problem. It's coordinating everything within the frame to everything else in the frame. The process that I usually use is I go through and I let the clothing determine the background or scene and then the clothing and the scene or background determine the pose. All of them have to match. The, if the clothing is more elegant, it's coordinated with a more elegant background and that is coordinated with a more elegant pose. Now in this case, she has on a very pretty dress, okay? Me personally, okay, looking at the whole thing, um, I would, I would compose this to about her knee because the shoes are lighter, okay, and it's against a darker base or bottom and you'll draw a lot of attention to the shoes. It's like ladies that wear a black dress and red shoes, okay, that's great if you want people to notice your feet, but I would prefer in a portrait you notice the face. So that's one of the reasons why I would compose it to the knee. So we're going to do these, now, up like that, turning your face this way, you know, body goes good, this way, okay, look, perfect, face that way. Now, Turn back just a little bit. Now when you're doing the pose, even though I'm not a hairstylist, okay, I'm still responsible for the hair to make sure it's the bangs are out of the eyes, the bangs don't have spaces between them, the hair flows in a natural direction. Usually like with her hair, the right side is a little fuller than the left side. So I would always make room on this side for all the curls to come through and then also pull a few over on this side because she does have long hair. But again, I would pull it off the clothing to where you see all the clothing in the photograph. Now turn your face a little more that way. What you're going to do? Come out just a little bit right there. Don't step on the paint. Okay. You've already figured out it's not quite dry. Yeah. Now, you're like this, okay? Here, like this, like this, and like this. Look right at me. Here. Good. Yes. Now, a little bit closer to your body, keeping your body that way. And then point your, this toe down. Good. Just like that. Body more this way. Now you're a little too close. Back up just a hair. Full body. More this way. Good. Just like that. Turn your face more this way. Tilt the top of your head more that way. Good. Now, another important thing about the clothing, on especially for a young lady or woman, you have to, to look at their clothing to kind of have a cue of what's important to them. And if you look at a woman uh, or her clothing, it gives you a lot of signs as to the areas that it's okay to show in a portrait. If a woman comes in and she has on like flat shoes and black pants, she's pretty much making a statement that she doesn't want anything to show below the waist. Okay, if a woman comes in with shorter dresses and heels, it, it's something that's, it, that is a cue that it's okay or she would like to show, you know, everything or her legs. If a lady comes in and, and maybe is a little overweight but has low cut tops, that's, that's especially for adult women, that's kind of a cue that, you know, that might be what she considers to be her best attribute and something that she would want to show. And the clothing will always kind of dictate what is comfortable for that woman and what she would like to see in the portrait. So that's something you always look for. And I go through, I usually tell the person to bring in a certain number of outfits and then if they want to bring additional things in, I'll look through it. And I make sure that they don't just go out shopping for what they think they should have, but they bring in clothing that they're comfortable with and have, have picked out before. So. Okay, in this, up straight with your back. It's good. Turn your face a little bit. Body stays this way. Now, just your face. Just more. Camera. Okay. 